Hey everybody, Min Chocolate Chip here with another video from Disney Heroes Battle Mode. Today we're going back into Team Comp School to talk about another great team. Again, big picture, keep in mind, uh, the way I'm going to be talking about teams is either we're building around a specific like one to three characters, or you're going to be building around a mechanic. Merlin's Beard, for instance, was building around a specific character, their specific abilities, and maximizing that effectiveness. Beast Mode is a team that you're working where you're working around uh, mechanic which is attack and movement speed. So today we're going to go over a mechanic and that is Freeze. Freeze is such a great fun team, uh, still useful today, not necessarily going to be killing any of the top teams out there, but is very useful, very fun to use, and it's extremely helpful when you're working in some of the uh, in some of the heists where not all the characters are going to be available, having Freeze available is super good. Super good. Uh, same thing with Guild War as well. So there are going to be two teams I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'll only really work with uh, one of them just to keep the video short, but I'll highlight the characters that will all be in there um, and, and let you kind of work from there and, and play with it as you will. So uh, again, I haven't worked on this team too much, so it's not going to be max level with max badges. There, some of the characters are going to be pretty good, but not all of them, and, you, and you'll see this as I go through it. I'll highlight only the uh, specific skills and discs that I think are the most important. Uh, I won't go through everything. Again, if you want more detail, you can go in into the game yourself and kind of look at the skills, look at how they work, uh, and you're feel free to leave comments. I'd love to, to have conversations with anyone. I'll leave I'll ping my Discord uh, down in the comments as well, so you can message me there if you have any questions or any requests. So with that, quick into the the team. Olaf is first and foremost, he's the tank for the team, uh, well, he's the main freeze tank for your team. So you're going to want his Moana disc at full stars and max level because he's going to do damage to fro- he's going to cause people who are already frozen when they get frozen again while still frozen to take a ton of damage. And that's helpful because, again, the whole team is built around just freezing as much as possible and as often as you can. And if you're freezing all the time, not only is the other team going to stay frozen, but they're also going to be taking damage every single time they're frozen. Because without that, they wouldn't necessarily take damage unless that was part of the skill. They would just, like, reset their freeze timer, you know? So, you're going to want this Moana disc at max stars, max level, to make this team really start to punch hard. Um, next, you're going to want Baymax with his Olaf disc, because his green skill, Blast Off, uh, is what makes Baymax fly in right at the beginning instead of a shield to your whole team. Now if you have his, uh, if you have this disc, you also freeze them as he goes through, and that's helpful because one, you're going to kind of set off the other team so they can't gain energy for those first couple seconds, but you also will allow yourself to possibly get in a, a round of freezes onto an already set of frozen enemies if you're fast enough on your team, and if you have that Olaf disc, now you're already starting to really get some damage going. Next, you're going to want Elsa, and again, you can kind of look into it. Uh, her skills are helpful. Uh, either of these work. Um, I would say use the Frozen disc, because you're going to get more freezes. It's going to be a longer freeze, which, keep in mind, you're kind of comparing this. You're building this in with the Olaf disc. If they're frozen for longer, then you have more chances to hit them with more freezes while they're still frozen, doing more damage. Um, and the skill you're going to want particularly work with with Elsa uh, is Icy Blast, because she's going to freeze right away and do damage. Uh, that's my favorite skill that she has. Granted, Elsa is a great character, totally worth investing in. Um, next for the all freeze team is Frozone, obviously. Uh, uh, nothing really matters too much with his as long as you're working with stay frosty which you want to be at the max level that you're you're at uh, if you're going to be using this team at a very competitive level because you're you see the freeze has a chance to only last for one second on enemies higher level level 115 um that's really what you're going to not want to make sure that you're actually freezing the other team um and the last is a is one that you wouldn't no, unless you were kind of messing with the, the teams here, Felix. You wouldn't think Felix was a freezer, but he has a Frozone disc that makes it so every five basic attacks, Felix freezes the closest enemy for six seconds. That's with two stars, and the more stars you get, uh, the more often he's freezing. Um, again, 
the whole build of this team is basically about throwing out freezes as often as you possibly can. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave that there uh, as far as that team and I'll just show you kind of it running through. Again, I'm not, this is not a team that I have at a very, very high level. So I'll just throw it into this right here, uh, just so you can uh, see it here. So this is the team we're working with. Um, all freezes everywhere. And I'll have it on auto, just so you can see it. Try to get those skills out as quick as possible. So there you go. Well, I guess maybe maybe this was a bad one, because Baymax, I guess, can take out the take them out just with his blast off but there you go so he froze right away and now you're getting some freezes they're gonna be freezing uh, taking a ton of damage cleaned it up real quick um, that's kind of how this team goes uh, if I were to I, I'm not comfortable pu putting this against a stronger team just because I'm pretty sure Frozone and Felix will just get eaten alive as soon as we go up any higher than this um, and it, it wastes the point to have these two die too quick but this is the freeze team. This is the freeze only team. Now, because I, like, for me, you can see Frozone and Felix aren't great characters. Felix is a really good character. He's, he's a luxury character. If you have the money and time and uh, in badges to invest in him, he's very helpful because uh, he's hard to kill. Um, but not necessarily a team that I personally work on too hard uh, just because of those two. So if you want my personal freeze team um i actually don't use uh i don't use any of these three because baymax has a, his wally disc is much better than his olaf disc in most applications and so really when i do a freeze team i kind of use just these two because we're going to be freezing and then honestly i kind of just go with teams that can take advantage of the fact that when they're frozen i can do damage to the team so one that i like to throw in is i really like duke um, and then you can really throw in anyone at this point. Um, you can throw in Stitch because he can slow, and I'll throw in Scar uh, because I like Scar. So the team is, what I'm wor really working with here is it's a freeze team because Olaf and Elsa are going to be freezing the team while everything's going on. And then what I want is I want to be doing damage to the team, uh, to the enemies, while we're while working with the Frozen. So you see how they're frozen, and now what I'd want is I want now the I have three damage dealers in there that are going to be doing damage while the team's frozen. Um, and that's really what I'll be working with. You can actually see I was fighting a team that had a cold snapper who, who was freezing back. So that's kind of like, this is the other way to do it, is to have freeze working um, so you can slow down the enemy team and prevent them from doing too much to your team. And then you can now do damage while they're frozen to take them out before they have a chance to unfreeze. So those are the two different ways you can really build uh, a freeze team. Um, this one is more useful in my mind, and I actually do use this in Guild Wars and in Coliseum uh, because of that. Uh, but with that, um, my Discord's down in the in the description. Feel free to leave any comments, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.